category was called General English, and there are a number of organisations or companies that offer these types of exams. Perhaps the most well-known is the Cambridge suite of examinations. And within the Cambridge suite, there are five different examinations at five different levels. The entry-level examination for the Cambridge suite is known as the Key English Test, and it's often known by its acronym KET. This is actually an entry-level examination, and both this and the next test are really used to show that people are ready for the third level of the Cambridge test. Moving on from the key English test is the second level known by the name PET and that stands for the preliminary English test. Again these two as we've mentioned are entry level exams and in terms of the five levels that we often have in a school in terms of starter, elementary then pre-intermediate, these two exams would cover the starter elementary level within a school, getting us up to perhaps the pre-intermediate level at the very most. The next level examination is given the name the FCE and this is known as the first certificate in English and this level of examination is approximately equivalent to the upper intermediate level in a school. So typically the FCE is the type of level within the ESL teaching situation that would be the highest level that we normally go to. Beyond that, we're moving into very complex examinations in terms of grammar knowledge, and the first one is called the Certificate in Advanced English. Most native speakers who've not studied formal grammar, and indeed perhaps most teachers of ESL, would find this examination extremely difficult. However, having said that, that's still not the highest level of examination that's offered. The final level is called the CPE, which is called the Certificate of Proficiency in English. Rather ironic, perhaps, that it's called the Certificate of Proficiency when it's the highest level of exam that you can take. So the Cambridge Suite offering five different levels of examination. One point to consider with these exams is that if you're ever given a teaching situation where you're expected to prepare students for either level four or level five, you need to be very careful about that because it will involve a lot of work for you to do above the level of a normal ESL certificate. There are other types of examinations other than the Cambridge that offer these sorts of things. Perhaps one of the best well known is given the name CELS, which is the Certificate in English Language Skills. So a number of examinations at this level.